Hello and welcome to our Cambridge English Qualifications A2 Kiefer Schools video. Today we will look into some very important speaking tips together. There are two parts in the A2 Key Speaking Paper. You always take the test with another candidate. There are two examiners. One examiner talks to you and the other listens. Both examiners mark your performance. You don't need to worry about part one because it's all about you. You will be asked some factual questions about yourself. Here are some sample questions from our lessons. How do you spend your free time? Do you like learning different activities? Where do you like to go during your free time? As you can see, all of these questions are about you, so you don't need to worry about them because you know the answers already. You will be talking about your likes and dislikes in part two. You must remember to give reasons for your answers, so always say why. Why do you think that way? You will be given five pictures and a question. You need to talk about all the pictures. Remember that in this part of exam, you will talk to the other candidate. Here is an example question from our A2 key course. Do you like these places? Say why or why not? As you can see, there are five pictures. And please try to talk about all of these pictures. And remember to give reasons for your answers. Now, let's have a look at some important tips and strategies that will help you answer these questions correctly. Number one, make sure you know what you are expected to do in both parts of the speaking test. What types of questions are asked? Hmm. Let's have a look at tip two. Practice English whenever and wherever you can. Learn about the expectations. What kind of vocabulary and grammatical structures are you expected to use? Hmm. Watch some sample videos with examiner comments. Very important. Do mock exams. It would be great if these exams are marked by an expert. Here is our next tip. Make sure you feel ready and confident before you register for the exam. Ask yourself this question. Am I ready? What should I do during the exam? Hmm. Greet the examiner politely. Say hello. Make eye contact and use gestures and facial expressions throughout the exam. Listen to the examiner carefully to ensure full understanding. Speak clearly, trying to pronounce all the words correctly. Remember, you'll talk to the examiner in part one you need to talk to the other candidate in part two. If you don't understand the instructions, you can ask the examiner to repeat them. Don't try to talk about something you don't understand. Just say, could you please repeat that? Always give full sentences, even if you are asked a yes-no question. For example, do you like going to the cinema? Yes, I do. I love watching films at the cinema. Full sentences. Give your reasons. Try to sound natural 
do not give memorized dances because examiners are trained to understand if you have memorized your answers. Sound natural. Remember that you need to let your partner speak as well. Ask your partner questions, trying to turn the exam into a natural conversation. Is there anything we shouldn't do? Hmm. Remember that everyone makes grammar mistakes. Don't worry about it too much. Don't memorize your answers. Try to learn them instead. Remember that the examiner can stop you during the test. Don't worry about it. It just means time is over. What should I do if I don't understand a question? Hmm. This is one of the most common problems students have in the speaking exam. Don't worry if you don't understand the question. Ask the examiner to repeat it, but remember to ask it politely. I'm sorry, could you repeat that please? What should I do if I don't know what to say and I just freeze? Some students freeze in the middle of the test. It usually happens when they don't know what to say especially if they don't know much about the topic. Hmm. Don't panic. This won't happen to you if you prepare well for the exam. All you need to do is to learn some useful vocabulary. Once you familiarize yourself with the most common topics in the A2 key speaking exam, you can learn some useful vocabulary that you can use to talk about these topics. If you freeze, all you need to do is to take a deep breath and think about the question again. You can buy yourself some time by saying, let me think. The examiner will wait for you for a short time. If you still can't think of anything to say, Simply apologize by saying, I'm sorry, I can't think of anything to say and move on. Don't let it ruin your whole exam. Remember, there are more questions to answer. Remember, practice makes perfect. Make sure you prepare well and practice as much as you can. Well done! Would you like to see some sample questions and practice your speaking skills? Watch our next video.